This video is intended as a guide for musicians preparing to play music for a Sunday service at San Gabriel Unitarian Universalist Fellowship. Our church is located just south, just across the street on University Avenue, from the eastern end of Southwestern University. We are at 1322 East University Avenue, and these pictures give you an idea what the plant looks like, taken from the street. There are usually eight pieces of music to be performed at a service. A prelude, usually fairly quiet and reflective, played before the service for about three minutes. An opening hymn, an offertory number of about three minutes, and that hopefully could match the theme of the service or the theme of the sermon. And then there's a playing the children out, which is go now in peace in the gray hymnal, Meditation on Breathing, which is a part of a hymn from the Teal Hymnal. And then the second hymn, the Benediction in Song, and the Postlude, which is two to three minutes long. Style of performance of the different pieces is as follows. The Prelude is a piece that's typically fairly calm and reflective. The Offertory the mood and style could match the service theme as much as possible. The postlude can be more exuberant or playful, sort of a celebration of the ending of the service. You can get a clue from the title of the hymn, what spirit to play that in, and there's often a suggested tempo marked on the hymn. That gives you an idea what tempo to use. In order to match the selections to the theme of the service, you need to obtain a planning sheet. On that planning sheet, which you'll get by email, you'll find the hymns listed and the theme of the service, and hopefully you can choose a prelude and offertory music that fits that theme. You will be able to edit the planning sheet and insert the selections you have chosen for prelude, offertory, and Postlude. Here is an example of a typical planning sheet for a Sunday service. You can find the theme of the service, who the speaker will be, who the worship leader is, the number and title of the first hymn, the number and title of the second hymn. You would fill in the title of the prelude that you're going to use, and the composer a title of the offertory, and the composer of the offertory. In the bottom portion of the planning sheet, you can find the name and number of hymn number 29, which we use as a benediction and song. That's in the gray hymnal. And then you fill in the title of the postlude, and the composer of the postlude, and the names of the musicians. This photo shows the placement of the piano in the sanctuary. Uh, there's a closet behind the pianist, and that's where you can store the piano cover, which will be on the piano when you arrive. You fold it up and put it in the storage closet, and then when you're done playing at the end of the service, you take the cover out and put it back on the piano. The choir happened to be singing in this photo. You ordinarily will not be asked to accompany the choir. After the children's story, you will play a piece while the children file out of the sanctuary. That hymn is called Go Now in Peace, and it's number 413 in the gray hymnal. You can hear what it's played like in the following audio. After the meditation in the service, you play hymn number 1009 out of the teal colored hymnal. That's called Meditation on Breathing. 
you play it softly, you come in softly, play it once alone, and then play it two more times as the congregation sings. You can get an idea of the style by listening to the recording below. What is called the benediction in song in the order of service is actually hymn number 29 in the gray hymnal, Joyful, Joyful, We Adore Thee. You play the last four measures as an introduction, and then you play only the first eight bars of the hymn and stop. The congregation will sing words that are printed in the order of the service, and here's what the audio should sound like. If you have questions, you can contact Martha House, who is the chairman of the worship committee, and she's available at otrhouse at msn.com, email address, or Joe Nessheim, the planning sheet coordinator and a musician at the church, and his address is joe.nessheim at gmail.com, as shown printed here. Thank you for helping us provide good music at the San Gabriel Unitarian Universalist Fellowship.